Hey, how's it going, man? How, how y'all doing? Uh, this is Disciple Tones, the true apostle. I'm here to expound on the, the wonderful glory of God, the Father Almighty, the creator of the universe. You know, Muslims, they don't like to call God the Father. You can call him creator then. Sons, creations. We are God's sons. We are God's creations. It's as simple as this. Ch change a couple of words here and there. You make, you make, make the scripture correct, man. And all you got to do is use your brains, okay? Don't get stuck on, on the meanings of words that you stuck in your head. Just use a different word in order to make it true. Because I tell you this. If you do not accept the scripture as truth, then you become a halfling. You'll just be a hobbit. You'll just be a little tiny guy that understands some of the scripture, but doesn't understand it all. I'm a Templar. I believe in the full revelation of God. That is the old, new, and the Quran. That is the full revelation. That is the book. The people of the book is to be understood fully as everybody in the Abrahamic faith, as Jews, Christians, and Muslims. And if you become a Templar, you put all the pieces together, and now you are indeed a true believer, and I stand the tallest. And that's you speaking to. Say, I stand the tallest. You be in a room of people that believe, but they're sitting point for, oh, I don't believe this, I don't believe that, you know, Muslims, Christians, Jews, whatever the heck. They're sitting there, te you will stand, stand on high. You will stand above them. I stand the tallest, for I believe in the full revelation. La revelación en total. I believe all of it, man. And that will make you powerful. That will make you a being that stands head and shoulders above all the rest. And you will be great. You will be great, and you will be seen as a man of knowledge. Now, what I'm going to cover today is a couple of things about, let's see, here we go. Ooh, yeah, got some good music for it. You're going to like this. I'm going to cover, uh, I'm going to cover a profound scripture here uh, in the Bible. It talks about how we are one. We are all one body. We are one body. We are one spirit. Just as God has called us to one hope. There is one Lord, one baptism one faith one God Father of all over all through all and in all and what this means it's not that this only is true for everybody that is a Christian this is a this is a tr universal truth and, and this 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 is something that flows through all holy books. It is a universal truth that we are all one with God. We are all one with God. That his body, we, okay, we are the body of God. If you look at a physical universe as an element, everything physical is the body of God, for he created it. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in Christianity means the Father is the mind. I'm a mentalist monist. That the universe is universal mind and it is ascendant. And it ascends for infinity. That's infinite consciousness. That's omniscient power and that's God. The Son, of which Jesus is also representative as the Word, the Word is creation. The Son is actually the body is the whole physical universe 
and the Holy Spirit is the union of the mind and the body. See? Now that becomes one. And that brings the body to life. That is the Holy Spirit. It is the, it is the intersection, the union of mind and body. We are made in God's image. If you look at a human being, we are mind, body, and soul. At an infinite level, such is the truth of our existence. God is mind, body, and soul at an infinite level. Now it says in the Quran, God is one without Trinity. Now, many Muslims and Christians think that the Quran is saying that the Trinity is non-existent. That is incorrect. It appears to be saying the Trinity that they ascribe to all oh, that they're talking about the Christian religion. What it's actually saying is God is one does not equal three. Okay? That is correct. God is one, just like this verse. We're all one with God. That the Trinity is one. That is three names for God. It always equals one. Therefore, it is not incorrect with the Quran. It says God is one without Trinity. That can be read as God is one does not equal three. In all monotheistic faiths and all truths of God, God equals one. Therefore, you can look at the whole universe. Look at everything in the universe. Every little nuance of the universe is an aspect of God, yet it is all one. Look at it this way. Many people have three names. They got the first name, they got the middle name, you know, you got your surname. Are you, in effect, three different people? No. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is mind and body intersecting to one. That's the Holy Spirit coming to life. Father, Son, bam. Holy Spirit, bam. The Holy Spirit flows from God. It is God and it brings us to life. It brings us all to life. And if you don't believe how three can be one, well, just look at the physical universe. The physical universe is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, mind, body, and soul. It is three-dimensional, and you see it as one unified system. It is what it is. It is what it is. The mind is infinite height of ascendant consciousness. The body, the sun, is infinite length of creation. That is the word, the power of God's word. It says quite clear in scripture, God hath but only to say, be, and it is. And the power of God's life, his spirit, that which Christians, we call that the Holy Spirit. In, in, in Islam, we call that the spirit, you can call it the spirit of God. It is the spirit of God. This is infinite width and the permission of God's power that brings all his life along the full length, and this is infinite, it brings it to life, the width, the full permission of his power, of his life, his spirit, permits all of creation. And we see this in the physical universe as the three-dimensional world. That, this is God. So all you gotta do is have an appreciation and understand the truth. Uh, many have believed that Christians are wrong simply because they read it in the scriptures. And I, I see how you can see that. But this is the 21st century. Are you going to believe like some guy from from uh, 8th, 9th century? you got to keep growing. The, the Bible and uh, the Quran are written in a way, and this is fascinating, that it's always coming alive. And once mankind reaches 
a higher spirituality. They understand the scripture much more. And, and it makes them, it makes them closer to God. Believe in God fully and you will truly understand him. I'm here to awaken the truth into you. I'm here to make you powerful. I'm here to make you great. If you choose to not listen to the words of the Lord, if you abandon His glory that is reaching into your hearts, then you will have just wasted your time. I'll talk to you later. I've got some more studying to do. I love each and every one of you. Have a great evening.